is some breaking news that's just coming in, and that is that Rishi Sunak has officially declared that he's standing to be leader of the Conservative Party and, of course, the Prime Minister. In the last minute or so, he's just put out a tweet which says, the United Kingdom is a great country, but we face a profound economic crisis. That's why I am standing to be leader of the Conservative Party and your next Prime Minister. He goes on to say, I want to fix our economy, unite our party and deliver our country. Let's just bring in our correspondents in Westminster, Ali Fortescue, to tell us a little bit more about this. So, Ali, at last, um, we hear from Rishi Sunak. Yeah, I mean, it's been an extraordinary weekend. We have seen people coming out, more than 100 now. Looks like he's going to be on the ballot for Rishi Sunak. We've seen a number coming out for Boris Johnson too. But neither man have said if they are actually the, uh, they actually want to be the next Prime Minister. Now, um, after a weekend of battles fought behind closed doors, Rishi Sunak um, has tweeted, you read part of his tweet there, it is... Um,
way. There's no picture of Rishi Sunak on this tweet. It could not be more bland in terms of the way it looks. Um, uh, and we haven't had an on-camera interview from him either, which I think is quite interesting. He seems to have been um, behind the scenes waiting to see if he could get enough support. It's pretty clear he does certainly have the support to get on the ballot from the parliamentary party. Um, what we don't know yet is how much support Boris Johnson actually has. But Rishi Sunak in his tweet says, uh, the United Kingdom is a great country, but we face a profound economic crisis. And he goes on to say, the choice our party makes now will decide whether the next generation of British people will have more opportunities than the last. That is why I'm standing to be your next prime minister and leader of the Conservative Party. I want to fix our economy unite our party and deliver for our country. I served as your chancellor, helping to steer our economy through the toughest of times. The challenges we face now are even greater, but the opportunities, if we make the right choice, are phenomenal. Um, so clear, um, and, the, and the statement goes on, I'm asking you for the opportunity to help fix our problems, to lead our party and country forwards towards the next general election. So Rishi Sunak is standing, it's clear, um, that if there, we know that there were talks between the chance, former Chancellor and former Prime Minister yesterday evening, um, any sign that Rishi Sunak may be rowing in behind Boris Johnson, I think thwarted by this tweet, clear no deal of such has been made. And I think there's two things he seems to be focusing on in um, his statement there. Firstly, the economy. I think plenty of Rishi Sunak backers feel vindicated by what has happened in the last um, six weeks during Liz Truss's premiership. And secondly, um, he is talking about unity, the need to unite behind a single candidate. And it is clear at the moment that he is a person that will get the most backing from MPs. So I think Rishi Sunak is hoping, um, and it, it wasn't a particularly sort of showy announcement, it wasn't a show-stopping video or anything like that of the sorts we might have seen over the summer. This was a plain statement from Rishi Sunak focusing on two things. One, unity. He thinks he's the person that can get MPs rowing in behind him, can get the most support among the parliamentary party. And it is pretty clear, bearing in mind people like Steve Baker this morning, who'd formerly um, backed Suella Braverman, then Liz Truss are now backing Rishi Sunak. That is significant. And we had Kemi Badenoch and Lord Frost, Frost yesterday evening saying that they wanted Rishi Sunak to be the next Prime Minister. The fact that people like that are now supporting Rishi Sunak, I think, is significant. Um, and the uh, second thing he's focusing on is the economy. I think he will pitch himself very clearly as a person that got it right over the summer um, and predicted the problems that Liz Truss's government faced. But of course, there are strong feelings when it comes to Boris Johnson on both sides. And there are those who passionately believe he is the one that has the mandate and he is the one that can lead the party 